Hey guys, how are you? I just felt like talking today. I haven't made a video in a while, so I don't even know where this is going to go. I'm sure to say in the title because I'll edit it, and if I do put it up, I'll put in the title what I end up talking about. Um, what's on my mind right now? I woke up this morning. I looked online on uh, a buddy of mine, a guy I know online. He's not really a buddy of mine. He had his Twitter account suspended permanently for uh and he did a video on youtube about it like i said it's not someone i know personally it's just somebody that i follow once in a while and i kind of feel for the guy because he seemed like a nice guy he's not like political or any hatred or anything in any of his posts but he got his twitter account suspended whenever he researched it to figure out why they said that he had posted some music back in 2020 and uh i guess they got a complaint from the music group or whatever and and they, they said he had been warned time and time and time again. He says he's never been warned. And I guess the, the, the music clip he used was maybe 20 seconds long, he said. Well, it got me thinking, because I know a lot of people um, that have gotten banned from Facebook. I, I, I got suspended from Facebook a couple times for really dumb stuff. Uh, there, there was a discussion about in the local area here, there's been a bear running around. And... Uh, you know, where it was cited and the whole thing. And I actually posted on, on the, as a reply, well, what would you do? What would you do with the bear come anyway? You just, just go in the house or run away. I'm like, no. I said, if, if I had a gun, I'd just shoot the damn thing. And I think my exact words was I'll shoot him in the ass. And I got a seven day ban for that, for saying, I was, and, I, and so I appealed it. I said, I'm talking about critter control in my backyard. I'm not talking about shooting a person. And they still made me have the seven day ban. That was one of them. The other one, um, I don't know if you ever seen Austin Powers or not, but uh, Fat Bastard, there was a, there's a thing called Reface where you can put your face on uh, a movie scene and uh, and let you post it to Facebook. I've done numerous of them. Uh, I I did Fat Bastard where he was saying, "Oh, look at my titties, look at my titties," and have my face on not on it. And uh, I got a seven day ban for that. They're saying it was nudity, and it's like it was a fat dude. It wasn't a girl, and it wasn't. Just saying, that's that's my own personal experience with it. I know other people that go on and they get banned for talking political. So I try not to talk political on social media. Um, I'm not a political person. Um, I'm smart enough to see what's going on in the world, but I'm not going to sit here and make a huge deal out of it because one thing I have learned is you cannot speak your mind without somebody crying about it. doesn't matter what you're talking about. doesn't matter what side you're on. And uh, without saying where I stand on anything, you can't talk about anything with, without somebody getting triggered. And that bugs me. That really, really bugs me. Because, like I said, I'm not political. I have my own beliefs. I have my own uh, way of life. And even these videos that I do on uh, YouTube, uh, do different ones I do. I do the, I use that puppet Carl sometimes. I'm about due to make a new Carl video. I do some cooking videos, some instructional videos on my craft, and uh, just whatever I feel like doing. And this isn't a monetized station, so, you know, if I say the word fuck or something like that, I'm not going to get, uh, you know, booted off for it. And it's not going to make a difference to me, because I make zero sense on this channel. I just I just like doing it. You know, um, i said before, uh, sometimes I suffer from depression, anxiety, PTSD, whatever you want to call it. And this actually helps me get out and feel a little better whenever I just talk which is what I'm doing today. But it's just unbelievable, even on my videos, uh, my instructional videos. Um, there's always, you know, I'm, I'm not new to this, but I'm trying to teach beginners that have never worked with resin before, or worked with molding compound, you know, make little figures or stuff like, like I do. And I'm just trying to help the new guy because whenever I was learning, there wasn't many people around that were willing to help. Uh, you know, they give you the wrong information, like you're stepping on their toes or something. And I still can't figure that out. But that's, that happens all the time when I do those videos. I get nasty comments, people saying, oh, your camera sucks, your channel sucks. Of course it does. I do it for free. And, you know, I, I, I like helpful criticism. Like some people told me I need to move my microphone closer, you know, things like that. And they put it in a polite way, no problem. So bang, I got a new microphone during the series and I'm pretty sure it works adequately. It's not studio quality. But it works. And you can hear what I'm saying. You can see my ugly face, you know. And I do appreciate uh, good criticism. But and then you get the people that they sit there and, and they, they just rip on you for no reason. So, you know, and it's like, okay, well, then I click on their name to see if they have a channel. Of course they don't. Well, 
you know, don't sit there and criticize somebody on their video techniques and uh, how they're running their channel whenever you're not even making an effort. Because even though I do this for free, it can be a lot of work sometimes, especially in editing. Like I can sit here for as long as I'm going to sit here and talk. That's the easy part. Editing, uh, editing it out, trying to cut out the, the slow parts or, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I've cut those things out before. You know, it takes time. It's especially when you're doing it for free. And a lot of these guys aren't getting paid for it. I've got about, uh, last time I checked, I think maybe 700 subscribers, which I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And then I get the people coming that aren't subscribed. And those are the ones that are actually leaving comments, which that cracks me up, you know. And then I have good, I have great people too that'll say nice things. Someone the other day, I did a uh, video, how I like to cook my bread and pork chops, one of my wife's favorite dishes. And uh, he got on there and he said that, um, he liked the video and he, he says, have you ever tried these? I think it was, I was just this morning too. He said, have you ever tried to use, I think he said cloves. And I don't use cloves whenever I make my bread or pork chops. But I told him, I said, I might try that next time. But I, this is how I do it. It's a good thing about food. You don't get very many arguments over food. You know, we talk about what we like. I like one thing. I like uh, canned oysters. And my wife thinks they're disgusting. Do we fight over it? No, she just doesn't eat them. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say when I say that. It's a metaphor, but it's true. She doesn't like the canned oysters. Me, I'll eat them right out of there, put them on a cracker. I don't know. I just like them. And then you get into regular cooking, you know, the, the bigger meals and stuff. I love hearing people say how they do it compared to how I do it. Because maybe they're way better. Just like life. I was a career chef for 30 years. And I'm still learning stuff to this day. You know, because I have an open mind. But I don't get on there and criticize somebody else. Oh, I didn't know how you do it. It's cooking. It's an art form. Everybody does it differently. Same with my crafting of making my uh, my resin projects. It's a craft. I got my way. You have your way. I'd love to learn new ways. I have an open mind about it, but I'm not going to get on there and blast somebody on their video because I disagree with what they're doing. <sighs> Other friends of mine have been banned from Facebook all the time because they get on there and say stupid stuff, stuff they know is going to aggravate somebody stuff they know they'll say something hateful don't be hateful it's a surefire way to get you in trouble no matter what you're hating whether you hate another race another religion politics uh mental disorders you know don't hate just if it's something you don't want to hear and they don't want to discuss it like a human being move on click through you don't have to watch it you don't have to watch this video i wish you would I enjoy making them. You can disagree with me too. I, I love a good discussion, but I'm not the guy that's going to sit there and say, oh, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. And if you don't listen to me, then you're not welcome on my channel. Of course you're welcome on my channel. And you don't have to agree with me. I don't have to agree with you. I can have a discussion with someone that I don't agree with and still go have a beer with them later in the day and we're still friends. I do it all the time. I get down to American Legion. A lot of veterans down there and stuff like that. And I get into discussions, not arguments, of different subjects. And we're all still cool, whether we agree or not. Sometimes I've been swayed over to agree with them. And vice versa. Otherwise, sometimes you just got to know when to agree to disagree. If, if what you think someone else thinks is completely crazy and idiotic, then stay away from that person. You don't have to feel a certain way. You don't have to listen to other people if you have your beliefs. No matter what your beliefs are. I might think some beliefs are ridiculous. Those are the people I just stay away from. Some people think my beliefs are ridiculous. They can stay away from me and we're all good. We're all happy. We all got our own lives. We all got our own jobs and yippy skippy, we're happy. Uh, let's see what else was on my mind. I might call that, I might call this what's on my mind. <laughs> like, you know what really grinds my gears? I, I don't do a good Peter Griffin. <laughs> My wife says I'm like Peter Griffin and Homer Simpson mixed together. <coughs> uh, what else? Oh, the nosy neighbors. Every neighborhood has a nosy neighbor. The one that will call the burrow on you because your grass is too long. The one will complain because your garbage cans were left out uh, uh, two extra hours than they thought it they should have been out. Even though you were working until five o'clock, couldn't put them away till you got home at six. Not good enough. So you get a nasty note on your door. Be a good neighbor, and when the garbage man comes, promptly take your garbage cans in. I work till 6 o'clock, lady. The garbage man came while I was at work. What am I going to do? That actually happened to me. 
uh the grass thing happened to me too same lady no what I'm, two doors down i see her every day out in the backyard two doors down both times she leaves a note on my door not signed it i know who it was karen <laughs> her name's not actually karen she is a karen in case you're because i do have a neighbor named karen i don't want people thinking the karen is the karen because it's not karen <laughs> oh it's gonna be fun because my driveway collapsed and uh it took forever for us to find a crew to come in and fix it. It's my driveway is on a retaining wall. It sticks about at the at the end of the driveway. It's up about seven feet, and then it goes straight off to the road, so we can pour it in there. Well, it started. It's about thirty years old, so it's collapsing, and it wouldn't have made it through this year. So we've been trying to call contractors and get an estimate ever since February. And everybody's either so busy or they just didn't want to do the job. So uh, we finally got someone to do it. We got a good price on it. Gentleman's supposed to start working on it here in the next week or two, but I can only imagine because there's no parking in front of our house. It's a, not a one-way street. It just the Karen I told you about uh, squawked and moaned about people parking on the sides of the street, so she talked the borough into putting no parking signs on both sides of the street. So we won't have any place to park. My other neighbor said I can park in his yard for four or five days while they're working on it. So thank you to his name is Evan. Thank you, Evan. I appreciate it, but that's right next door to Karen's house, and she's not going to like that. So I, I can just imagine the cops are going to come, and I'll be in someone's yard, not on the street. So we'll see how that goes. I guess what I'm really talking about is why argue? Why fight all the time? Everybody's fighting now. You got your vaxxers, your anti-vaxxers, your maskers, your anti-maskers, maskers, excuse me. You got everybody. You got race wars going on, fighting with each other. Why? Why bother? Just accept people for who they are and move on. If someone treats you good, you treat them better. That would make the world a much better place. That's, I try to be that way. I treat everybody on an individual level. If you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. If you show me respect, I'll show you respect. And just no sense for all this fighting and argument. Even down to, like I said, my YouTube channel or other people's YouTube channel. There's a blind girl that has a channel on YouTube. And I've watched it a couple times. And she's... She's probably doing it for the same reason I'm doing it, because we just basically need someone to talk to sometimes. And I don't want to say it's not a good channel. It's it's something if you're interested in what she's talking about, it probably is a good channel. It's just I'm not interested in what she talks about, so it's kind of like lightly. But people put mean stuff up about her, and, uh, you know... It's just, it just, you know, this girl did nothing to nobody and people just feel the need to get on their keyboards and type mean things because they just feel like being mean to that person. It happens to me sometimes too, but I'm thick skinned. It's like, okay, delete, block, bye. Some people can't do that. Some people get really upset. I see other YouTubers getting mad about what another YouTuber said on making videos, just totally bitching the person out and calling them out and people just talking about rumors about each other. Like personal rumors, not YouTube rumors, like personal rumors. Why? Why? Some people are just trolls. I like to get on the internet and make jokes. I made a, I made a, uh, a joke couple. I made a couple videos uh, uh, make, making fun of Junk Man, who's actually a friend of mine. That's why I do it. Because I have a rule. If I don't, li if I don't know you, uh, what's my saying? Oh, I, I usually, there's an F-bomb in there, so I got to re reword. If I'm not messing with you, then I either don't know you or I don't like you. I just leave you all alone. But if I'm messing with you, it means I actually care enough to take the time to make a joke or, you know, make a funny video, make it fun of you. You know, that's me being funny. And I only do that about people I care about. And they know that I'm joking. It's not like it just, they just caught it out of the blue skies. Oh, what, what do I do to him? Oh, he hurt my feelings. He made a video about me. <laughs> no, they know. I mean, I've always been a prankster. I, I, my real friends that I see from a day-to-day -day basis, I'm always messing with them. It's funny. I tell them dad jokes when they're really drunk and they can't figure it out. You know, uh, I'll give, I'll give you a little story about how, how uh, weird I can be. My second year of college, back in 1980, forever ago, uh, it'd, be, it'd be late 80s, so it'd be 1988. I went to Indiana, Indiana University of Pennsylvania. We call it IUP up here. And, uh, uh, for the first semester, second year, I uh, got moved to, uh, it was called Elkin Hall. And that is where they put the foreign exchange students. Um, not quite sure how I ended up there, but I did. Me and this guy from Harrison City, who lives right down the road from me, 
Uh, his name was Bob. I'm not going to say his last name because I don't know if he'd be okay with it. Because uh, then he'd have to admit that he knows me. <laughs> so anyway, me and Bob, it's like first week there. And we're getting used to it, making friends and stuff. And we're down in the little lobby there where they had a TV room and everything. And there's a guy. He was from China. Like literally from China. And his name, and I'm not making this up. True name, Bob. If you're seeing this video, put something in the comments so they know I'm not lying. His name was King Wang. And he introduced, us, he introduced himself to us as King Wang. And I'm like, but I was still a good boy because I didn't know the guy. And uh, he wanted to know, I think he wanted to know where the student union was or something. He asked, he was asking a bunch of questions. But every time we answered, and we answered true questions, told him how to get there and set and the other. I don't remember the rest of the questions. There was a lot of them, which it was just like, oh, come on, man. We're trying to watch, I don't know. I think we're trying to watch MacGyver or something like that on TV. Who knows? He just kept asking the question, but every time he finished his question and we answered, he's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and like over and over and over again. And he, his English wasn't really that great, but he could communicate. So um, it, we're, we're literally just sitting here trying to watch whatever was on TV, and I can't. I wish I could remember what show it was. Knowing me, it was probably like A-Team or MacGyver or something like that. So finally I looked at him and he says, King, let me let you know something, and you're saying thank you. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like... In this part of the country, that's kind of a really bad thing to say. I said, they say that over in California. I said, you're on the East Coast. Well, we don't really have a coast, but you get the idea. We're on the eastern side of the my doggy. Not the eastern side of my doggy. I, what are you doing? Daddy's making a movie. We're on the east. I told him, so we're on the eastern side of the United States. We don't say thank you. We say, fuck you. He's like, oh? I'm like, yeah, fuck you. He's like, oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. He finally goes away. And uh, we forgot about it. We, I don't think we got to watch our TV show. And later, in, later in the day, we saw him at the student union. And he walks up. I'm like, hey, King, how you doing? He's like, that not funny what you do. And the reason I say it that way is because that's exactly how he said it. And here I am years later, and it still rings in my head. I remember like, bits and pieces of the story, like a TV show and stuff. But I will never forget him looking me in the And he was a big guy. This wasn't a little, little squirrely guy. This was a big dude, probably about six foot four, built like a sumo wrestler. He's like, that not funny what you do. And I'm thinking, hmm, I'm going to get my ass kicked. <laughs> anyway, he got over it. We were good friends that whole semester. But that's the kind of stuff, you know, that I'll do to people. Um because it's funny it's it's just funny it's good natured nobody gets hurt he got a little embarrassed but obviously didn't bother him too much because we were good friends the rest of the year so that's how you got to be with each other you got to learn to be able to joke around and enjoy yourself and enjoy your friendships because you don't know who's going to be gone tomorrow i mean like king he went back to uh he went back to china at the end of the semester but that whole semester we was buddies you know go get grab stuff to eat i took him to all the party places i took him to the frat house i belonged to and uh Oh my God, we had a blast. But, uh, and rather than, you know, well, what, what, what would have happened if I just treated him like, like, an, well, I guess I did kind of treat him like an idiot. But what, what would have happened if I was like automatically hating him because he was different than me? Come on. Come, he thought it was hysterical after he calmed down. But just think about it. You just immediately judge someone, you know, because of, well, in this case, I'll say it because of his race. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have had all that fun that semester and have so many memories because we did some funny stuff that year because he got he started on pranks, too. And it was funny when he did it because he was like a little kid. But just think if I treated him poorly, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wouldn't have that good of a semester with hanging out with him. And I always remember that. It's a good memory in my lifetime. So, you know. Don't judge people. It's just dumb. And don't nitpick at people. You see someone's enjoying themselves doing a craft or doing a YouTube video. If you don't like it, just move on. You don't have to sit there and point out that, oh, your lighting's messed up. Or, oh, you look like hell. Or, oh, your camera work sucks. They don't, they don't, first of all, I don't care. It, I make that plain and simple. I said it before I say it again. I don't accept money for this. I figure if people want to watch, they'll take the time to watch. If they don't want to watch, hey, that's fine. There's plenty of other channels. I'll recommend some channels that are better than me. You can go see Poindexter's Lounge if you like the nerd stuff. He does a lot of late night videos, uh, live chats and stuff like that. You can go see, um, you can go see, uh, I, I like Junkman. And there's a big war going on with him. But sorry, I like the guy. 
and I'm staying out of that war. I got my opinion on it too, and I spoke to Junk Man about it. And let's just leave it at we didn't agree entirely. But uh, no, who else do I like to see? I've been watching a lot of Karen videos lately. The what, what's the name of that channel? Because Karen videos make me cr crack up. Because I can't believe I swear some of these have got to be staged. Uh, oh, it's called Top Ten Central. That's a good one. In fact, I did a video a while back of my uh, my favorite YouTube channels that I that I pay attention to, and they're all over the place. There's even a puppet one on there. Oh no, I didn't talk about the puppet ones. But that's another thing. I joined this. I started making puppets. Um, obviously, because I had the Carl video, I started making puppets, and I went to that group to ask help because I've never done it before. And I've made a few successfully, and I'm and uh, the people that I made them for were really happy with them. And it's all because of this one puppet says name Adam Adam Krugender, Adam Krugender. I don't have it in front of me, or I pronounce it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not. But anyway, he has all kind of tutorial videos teaching how to make puppets. If you're into that kind of stuff, and it's great. But I noticed going through the questions and stuff in the Facebook group. <clears throat> excuse me uh going through the uh questions in the facebook group someone asked if they had a pattern for a certain head and they jumped on them because apparently they don't share their patterns or their knowledge with each other they're like magic tricks you never you never give away the secrets and i'm like really because i'm finding any hobby that i have been dabbling in there's always those people dude help the new guy out don't sit there and put him down because he doesn't know what you, you know, there was a time you didn't know it in the first place too. There was a time I didn't know how to make action figures and now I'm really good at it. There was a time I didn't know how to work with wood, which is something I haven't done a video on because the price of wood went. <laughs> I love working with wood. I build Adirondack chairs, picnic tables, outdoor furniture, stuff like that. I want to do a video on my workstation. I build a table saw. It's a three section table saw that I built myself. It's got a scroll saw on it, a table saw and a disc sander. And there's even room for me to, I'm going to put a belt sander on it, I think. And I want to show you guys how to make one for yourself because it cost me a hell of a lot cheaper to do that than to go to, uh, I'll just pick a cheap place and to go to Walmart and buy all the tools separately. Um, that's coming up as soon as the price of wood drops down. Cause I have to, I have to replace the top on mine. So I figure when I replace the top, I can do a video teach how to do that if that's the kind of stuff you're into all i want to do is help some people so all right well i've probably been rambling long enough um i don't know what i'm going to call this video yet i'm gonna to have to rewatch it and edit some stuff out but um i think the point i want to make is quit your bitching let people live the way they want to live live and let live as they say be nice be nice you know you're going to criticize somebody they might be having a bad day their life might be a complete wreck and you sitting there just giving a menial little mean comment that doesn't have to be said, it, it can really mess up a dude's day, especially if they have PTSD. You don't know what triggers people. Everybody's worried about being triggered. They say, oh, this person's triggered, this person's triggered. Sometimes we make fun of the people that are triggered. Sometimes the person's triggered is totally in the right. You don't know which way that's gonna go. So you want to see me triggered? I have a video on there where uh, it's called I was uh, threatened by an eBay uh, seller. I was I was triggered. You're going to see me triggered. I was shaking and everything, but I still did the video because I want to teach other sellers what to look for for some of these buyers because I followed that through. I don't know if you saw the video or not, but I followed that through and uh, long story short, he never did return the product and uh, eBay closed it. So and I kept it, it was over $10. Not gonna get me started on that, but I, I wish I wanted to, I wanted to get a little picture and put it right here so, with a picture of a $10 bill and just say not yours, just for that dude, but I let it go. I let it go. And if you watch the video, you'll see the whole drama about it. It's another thing that did not have to happen. If he would have just, instead of threatening me on the first letter, if he would have just said, hey, I got a problem with this. You can ask uh, almost any of my sellers that are, that some are on my YouTube channel, maybe you bought some stuff for me. Some are on my Facebook group. Um, I've always, If I do make a mistake, which I make mistakes, I sent out stuff the other day, I sent out a, a part for a Slave One toy and it broke in the mail. Okay, I sent him another one. I said, you want your money back or you want another one? He said, I'd like another one. Boom, two days later, he got a brand new one. He was happy. Another guy, uh, he didn't like, he just didn't like what I had. He said it didn't fit, which I know better. But he was nice about it. It was a set of chin guns for an ad at. If you don't know what that is, it's just a piece of another toy. And he said they didn't fit. And I'm like, I know they do. I said, what do you want to do? He says, well, I want my money back. Okay. 
did follow the return thing. He had to mail it back to me. Um, and he did. He mailed it right back to me, and boom, he got his money. But I took the chin guns that he got, and I put them on mine. They fit perfectly. What had happened, it, I make stuff for the 1981 AT-AT, and uh, that's the vintage, very first one. He had one of the 2000-something Power of the Force 2 models. They don't match at all, and that's what happened. But he was too proud to say so. But it got resolved, and he was happy, and he bought some stuff uh, from me afterwards. I'm pretty sure someone told him in the meantime he had the wrong ad ad. But he never, he wasn't rude to me, so, okay. You know, I stand behind my stuff. I ended up reselling it to somebody else. Everybody was happy. The guy got his. In fact, here's one, here's one getting ready to be sold now. Just a little part like this. Um, this isn't torn apart or clean yet, but just like that. So, okay, I'm going to wrap this up now because I don't know how long I've been yammering. Um, I try to keep these under 15 minutes because that's a normal person's sense of attention. So I don't know if you got anything out of this video or not. Just me rambling. Uh, I'll catch you next time when I have a better idea for a video. Oh, one more thing. Down below, I need a new idea for a Carl video. So if anybody knows something I could do with Carl, uh, give me a suggestion. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys. Thanks for taking time out of your day. We'll see you next time.